so here's a quick diagram I did of the aorta and IVC. This is a coronal with the aorta being on this side, IVC being here. This is the patient's right, patient's left, superior, inferior. So let's begin with the IVC. These three vessels here are the hepatic veins. There's usually three, some variations, there could be four, that drains the liver. Going down the IVC, you have your first right renal vein or only right renal vein, and then your left renal vein. So the left renal vein comes across here, it's usually longer than the right. And very importantly, it goes in between the aorta and the SMA. So under the SMA, that's very important to know because of nutcracker syndrome, which is compression of the left renal vein from the angle of the SMA to the aorta. Then you have the confluence of your iliac veins. So right common iliac vein, left common iliac vein. These two further bifurcate into external and internal iliac veins, right? Now to the aorta. You have the abdominal aorta, your diaphragm would be here. First branch of the abdominal aorta is a celiac axis, which we usually call on ultrasound the seagull sign because you have the aorta and then the two arteries, it looks like a bird. So this is a hepatic artery, goes into the liver. This is a splenic artery, goes to the spleen. This is the left gastric artery, not commonly seen on ultrasound. You can struggle and try real hard on some patients, you may be able to see it. Sometimes the left gastric artery comes out of here, has a lot of variation. Second branch is the superior mesenteric artery or SMA. Again, the left renal vein goes posterior to the SMA. Then you have your right renal artery. Very important, the right renal artery goes posterior to the IVC. So your sagittal, you have liver and IVC, and then behind the IVC you have a little circle. That is your right renal artery, very important to know. And then you have your left renal artery, which is shorter. Then you have this little dude right here, is the inferior mesenteric artery. And then you have your bifurcation of the right and left common iliac artery, which also bifurcate into external and internal iliac arteries. The, another name for the internal iliac artery is the hypogastric artery, all right? By 